it's always weird leaving and going to sea because you know you're you're basically physically cutting you know, all the ties of land. So it's kind of exciting. Woo, we're leaving and you know, say bye bye to everybody. But uh, then it's like, well, so it's just us now. This is my fourth time on the Chikyu, and each time it is an operational challenge, but at the same time, it's full of scientific excitement. So I'm really looking forward to go out again. Here we go, getting observatories installed. I really want us to be uh, successful and uh, come back with uh, no incidents and no injuries. IODP is an international scientific program which is setting out to explore and probe the ocean floor basically from the seafloor all the way down to the crust and eventually the Earth's mantle. And this particular expedition is mostly an engineering effort. After some of the coring, we left one of the holes five years ago with a long-term instrument in it. So what we are trying to achieve first is to take this temporary observatory out of the hole and then replace it with a more sophisticated long-term observatory which would actually be hooked to an early warning network. Chick is a riser vessel. Uh, it's a scientific riser vessel. So basically it has all the capabilities of an industry deep sea riser drilling vessel with the scientific capabilities of a standard oceanographic institute. It's a massive ship, and you're going to spend your first week on board lost, just trying to figure out where your cabin is, how to get to where the food is, how to get to the labs, and how to get back. People just, you know, wander around. Japan is one of the places on the planet where we have the most frequent earthquakes. There has been the Tohoku event just five years ago in magnitude 9 with a huge tsunami. Similar events happened in the Nankai Trough, the area where we hold the current expedition. So we want to drill this particular area to shed some more light on how earthquakes nucleate. This scientific project is uh, very unique. The site has never been drilled, and the environment is, is quite harsh environment. We are at the slope of uh, Nankai Trap, so the things are a little bit difficult. Uh, we have a crucial current. We have sometimes observed more than six knots, so we are a little bit tricky site in here. Yeah. Earthquakes occur in a very episodic manner which cannot be predicted. We have to do long-term monitoring in order to see how some of the physical and chemical parameters change over time just before an earthquake occurs. The approach is actually twofold. It has an academic avenue and a societal avenue to it. From an academic point of view, we have to fully understand what sort of earthquakes occur. Recently, we discovered all different types of earthquakes, like these slow slip events, all sorts of things people did not know about in the past. So this is one major step towards, well, maybe not predicting, but maybe mitigating larger earthquakes.
<laughs> well, tomorrow will actually be the most exciting day. The first key task on this expedition is to get the instrument we put there five and a half years ago out of the hole without damaging it, without losing it, without doing any damage to the hole and then get it up through something like two, two and a half kilometers in the water column without losing it and then look whether we actually retrieved some interesting data about the Tohoku event, about Nankai events. So this will be very challenging. We have the, the ROV down there to look at it. I'm pretty sure that all the scientists will hold their breath in order to, to make sure that we will get it out. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now it's like flying out of there. That's it. Yeah, we finally got it. <laughs>